Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, today is going to be a video on the uh, Project Subum Swellfish V2, which just came out recently. Uh, I'm just going to go over a couple of things right before uh, I get into that. And that's actually going to be on the uh, the IPV D2 over here. Just really quickly, um, I just had a couple of thoughts about it. Basically, what I didn't know about it is when I first got this thing, is that for you to actually use the temp control on this device, it's going to be best. I'll show you here. Give me one second. There you go. If you're going to use the temp control on this device, you have to set the, the, the resistance first. And, and I didn't know that. And uh, so I, I was sitting here for like two or three days wondering, like, how do I use this thing? Um, but finally got into that so if you're gonna be using IPv2 IPvD2 make sure you you go ahead and do that so now that's out of the way I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna do this actually really quickly I'm gonna go ahead and dive down into this guy show you guys what this guy is all about um, what I think about it how to put it together and um, all that other stuff alright so really quickly this is how it's gonna to come to you just packed with a really nice leg this on the back to Swarfish V2 Project Subum California Design and all this other jazz over here. So really quickly this just pops off like that. And there's your swellfish. Uh swellfish. And there you go. Just a close look of this guy. Let me see if I can get it a little bit more focused. There we go. There we go. There we go. So you can see that I have a couple of scratches on there. Up there as well. I'm gonna get it. Uh, get into why that's there. Um, let's see. There we go. So I'm gonna get into why that's there and all that other jazz. Um, underneath the packaging, there's a whole bunch of stuff as well. So right here, you got this guy right here. This would be pops off like so. There we go, and it comes with a Wotopo style uh, tool. You got Phillips right here, Allen key, and then a larger Allen key on the other side. You're actually going to be using the smaller Allen key to work on your swellfish. And then under that, you got a bunch of extra O rings, some extra screws, about four screws extras. And there you go. I'm to put this all the way back. All right, so another up close look of the, uh, the swellfish. Um, because there are some things that we need to go over to really know about this product well. And one thing, these are not stock O-rings. These black ones right here, these are not stock O-rings. I actually changed it out uh, from my mutation ones, I think. And that works a lot better for uh, keeping the juice in. And the barrel, the barrel just slides off like there's no tomorrow. So um, I suggest changing those right away. But down here, you see right here, there is that clear plastic right there. That's the uh, stock O-ring for this device over there. And how this works is, screw this down. It's not reverse threaded. I just suck at putting these things on. There we go. And it makes a flush connection like that. I mean, if you want to, you can always you can also change the uh, the O-ring down there to kind of give it some more, uh, to kind of give it some more stability. Just like that. And the top cap is right here. This is actually all one piece. I've tried taking it apart. I cannot for a life of me. So this just comes to you like this. You can't do anything about it. It is a 510 drip, drip tip over there, so you don't have to worry about that. However, this does seem a little tight for me. So a couple of the drip, steps, drip tips that I own uh, fits in there extremely snugly. And it does not, it's not go in there very easily, and that's why those scratches are over there actually. It's like a, I got my Trinity Copa up in here, and then when I tried getting it out, I actually had to use pliers and screwdrivers and whatnot to kind of get that off. So, be wary of that. If you're gonna put a drip tip on it, make sure you juice it up first, or loosen this up somehow, or drill this down or something, something similar. Another thing about it is this thing actually slides up like so. There you go. You got an extra O-ring over there to kind of keep the juices in. And how 
this works is when you need to uh, when you need to do when you need to you know juice up your cotton or whatever you just slide that open and that's it I don't personally like doing it that way I just go ahead and just take it off because it is easy to take off um, but you'll see what I mean like right now see it's really really snug in there okay I actually wouldn't want to put this on unless I juiced it up a little bit first. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Alrighty, went ahead and juiced it. You can see I still have like some marks of juice right there. Let me actually just go ahead and wipe that down. There you go. Just going to keep wiping and wiping it. Holy crap. So much wiping. Anyways. Now we're going to get into the base section of this guy, and this thing uses a grub nut, so you do have to use that Wilter key that this came with. Let's see if I can focus in a little bit better on that. There we go. And from my experience, um, it's it looks kind of big, but it actually isn't that big. Um, this is a 3.30 seconds drill bit um, screwdriver. So you can see that it kind of just takes up half of it. The most that I would go on here is probably a uh, an eighth inch. Let me go ahead and grab one. This is my eighth inch over here, and you know, depending on the wire you use, it's gonna be it's gonna be a tight fit in there. So there we go. So as you guys can see, the post holes for this guy is actually pretty big. This guy took these fuse clavins without any problems. There you go. See right there. There you go. No problems whatsoever. I am going to go ahead and install a second fuse clavin in here. So give me one second. All right, so there you go. Two fuse clavins. I'm actually going to go ahead and lower the gamma on this a little bit so it doesn't look so freaking bright. There we go. This is reading at 0.1. Let me go ahead and just fire it up. And just. Yeah. Uh, simple. That's probably the easiest fuse clap than that I've done. My biggest concern was that the deck isn't huge, so I actually had to keep cutting the yeah, the fuse clap in to a uh, fit. So let me show you what I mean. I kept cutting off that like that much off of the fuse clap in just so that I, I would get the uh, other side to fit in well. Alrighty. All right, so there you guys go. This is what it looks like on the squirrel fish. Not bad. So I'm going to go ahead and bring this back to uh, to regular view and then we'll talk about the pros and the cons and all that other jazz. Alrighty. Alrighty so that's the close-up view of the squirrel fish. Holy crap, that is a really low ohm. I'm actually going to update this at 107. 165. Alright, 165 watts. Now, the flavor you get out of this thing is pretty spectacular. And I think it has to do with those fins that you saw earlier, the ones that you have to unscrew and screw back on uh, whenever you have to do a build. Uh, a little annoying. To work with, especially considering the O-rings, they're not the best unless you switch them out. So that's what I did. And these are Mutation X O-rings I mentioned earlier. Um, so really quickly, pros for this guy: this thing is thirty bucks, so it's great for a bait budget that's you know a little tight. You get some nice clouds out of it. That all depends on your build. Uh, it has some really cool designs on it. I mean, that swiveling thing—that's cool. Those fins are cool. Um, the uh, the grub nuts in here, they don't they don't back out. At least I've never had them back out on me. Uh, 
And on top of that, you get this little guy. You get this little water bow tool. It's freaking awesome. Uh, and the post holes make it so that you can actually put your uh, your big build in here, like your fuse clappings. So, like I said, I mean, this is a 26 gauge, uh, 26 gauge, 30 gauge fuse clapping. That's already a pretty big clapping right there. Um, some people actually used to like to go like 26, 36, or like 24, 30, 24, 36. It was a big clap in that I don't think you'll have any trouble fitting it in this guy. Look at that. I love fuse clappings. Um, so with that being said, the cons for this guy, uh, that swirl fin kind of thing, uh, gets unthreaded sometimes when you're trying to do this. So like right now, if I show you, like look at that, it's it's already coming unthreaded. See that? Yep. That's that's annoying. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to uh, do that. So sometimes when I'm adjusting the airflow or something, it gets unthreaded on me, and that's that's annoying. The O-rings that came for this guy, the stock O-rings. I don't even use the O-rings that the extra O-rings that they came with. Those things were horrible. Um, this thing was so bad that it would just slide off so easily. Um, right now it's a little bit better, but it's not like, but it's not a lot better. Uh, that design, that that, that O-ring that they supplied you with is just garbage. Um, so go ahead and replace them. It's much better now. Earlier, when I had the regular O-rings in there, I mean, I would have it in my pocket and I would reach and grab it, and the top cap was missing because the O-rings don't don't hold it in. Um, and the last comp for this device is that the 510 grip tip uh, is very, very, very tight. I love this platform. I haven't even dripped yet since, uh, since I opened this video. Well, this segment I haven't dripped yet. Alright, so with that being said, 30 bucks. It's definitely a go-to grab. I wouldn't suggest it for the, the new guys who are just starting out, even though it is really cheap. Mostly because of those uh, those certain problems that I talked about. The, uh, the O-rings being horrible, the swirling thing getting in the way. And even though the, the post is huge, like the post holes are huge, it is annoying to get your um, to get some builds in there. Mostly because the deck looks so small. And as I said, I would only use like an eighth inch screwdriver or a three thirty second screwdriver. So, with that, thank you for watching. If you guys uh, like that, please go ahead and hit subscribe. I'm also gonna I'm also gonna post a link to my Instagram on the uh, description if you guys want to follow me. I actually go ahead and uh, and I post uh, when I'm gonna do my next videos on there. So if you guys are interested, please go ahead and do that.